Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe it for the daily videos. Ophoritis Ophoritis is an inflammation of the ovaries. It is often seen in combination with salpingitis, that is, inflammation of the fallopian tubes. It may develop in response to infection. What causes this condition and who is at risk? Ophoritis is usually the result of sexually transmitted infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea. You can reduce your risk by practicing safe sex with all partners. Bacteria can also get into the reproductive tract through your cervix. This can happen if an intrauterine device is inserted incorrectly during an abortion, after a miscarriage and during childbirth. Pathophysiology Infection ascends from bacterial colonization of the cervix and extends to the uterus, fallopian tubes and the ovary. Gonorrhea and chlamydia typically are colonized from the cervix in cases of ophoritis, but these pathogens are rarely isolated in ovarian tissue. Rather, these organisms facilitate other bacteria to infect the adnexa. If left untreated, an abscess may form around the fallopian tube and ovary known as tubo-ovarian abscess. Symptoms Bilateral lower abdominal pain Heavy vaginal bleeding during menstrual cycle Dysperunia Foul odor vaginal discharge Polyuria Dysuria Malaise Lower abdominal discomfort during walking and pain extends up to liver. Diagnosis, history, pelvic examination, culture, pelvic USG, colposynthesis and laparoscopy. Treatment, antibiotics. Surgery, ophoritis may be managed with surgery when medical treatment has shown no amelioration of symptoms after 48 to 72 hours. Surgical options may include laparoscopy with drainage of the abscess, removal of adnexa, and total abdominal hysterectomy, bilateral sagittal oophorectomy. Thank you. Have a nice day.